everyone. Uh, thank you for all of your support on the YouTube channel. I wanted to do something to give back to all the Power Ranger community, interviewing people from Dino Charge as well as other Power Ranger seasons. So the first guest, maybe the last guest, who knows? Uh, James Davies though, the Black Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge, AKA Chase. What was your last name? Randall or something? Yeah, Randall. it was. Good memory. It was. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Literally just felt it in the back of my brain and I wasn't sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, joining me on the YouTube channel for this special podcast-ish edition where uh, I interview you, ask questions, and we just hang out and stuff. Thank you so much for having me. It's it's such a privilege and uh, and so good to see you again. And what time is it in New Zealand right now? What day is it? It's um it's a day uh, after, so I'm in the future. Nice, nice. What happened? What's the weather like? Oh, uh, what is that? What is it in Back to the Future? How he, he goes he goes back and finds out all the um the details of who the won the, the world series and stuff yeah so i was gonna make a joke about that but i don't know enough about it to uh, <laughs> but you were on the right track you got the sentiment behind it yeah i have questions that you know i get asked all the time at conventions and i'd love to do more conventions with you but you live far away so hopefully next year maybe more for con and some other things we can get you back stateside yeah. mm -hmm. another uh morphing uh morphing thing 2.0 or whatever, 1.0. Oh, oh yeah, unleash the shower. And all yeah, that. unleash the meower. <laughs> uh, guys, we're referencing an old YouTube video, which is still on my channel somewhere if you scroll back far enough. It's him and I basically unleashing anything that rhymes with power, um, which has flower, shower, meower, which is a cat. I don't even know. Yeah, all the things. Um, okay, first, first, first question. Yeah. Um, I'm so nervous. Uh, did you watch Power Rangers growing up? Well, um, not, not a heck of a lot. Like I, I did, I did watch until it was banned. Probably. Um, I'm not actually mm. sure when it was banned in New Zealand. Is that why it's uh, from Bandai, the toys? Because it was banned. Wee. Yep, yep. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, New Zealand started that too. Bandai is actually a New Zealand company. Bandai. No, it's not. <laughs> um. Uh, so I did watch it. Um, I really, really enjoyed uh, the first. I think it was one or two films. Did they make two films? Mm -hmm. they, yeah, there were two films before the latest reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely remember, um, what's his name? Ooze? Is he Ooze? Yeah, Ivan is. Ooze? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ivan Ooze and uh, and and those you know the the Power Rangers around that film that was that was super cool, um, but yeah so I probably watched that quite a few times but didn't watch a lot more after that, possibly because it was banned. But I did think it was cool. So yeah, yeah. But you guys had it cool. hardcore in in the states, right? Like, dude, I I was growing up watching. I watched. Power Rangers all the time. I had a cosplayer come to my birthday when I was a kid. So I was in it to win it from the beginning, you know, dressing up for Halloween. Yeah. Never thinking I was actually gonna win it. Which which Ranger actually, just out of curiosity, which Ranger did you have at your party? Uh, I had Tommy as the Green Ranger at my uh, party. Yeah. There's actually a picture of me as a little kid with him with the dragon dagger, the dragon sword dagger, like giving it to me, yeah. which is actually from yeah. my parents, but they gave it to him to give to me because it was cooler coming from a Power Ranger than them, I guess, you know? So I hear you. obviously when you were auditioning for Dino Charge, did you go back and like rewatch episodes or did you just, you still knew what it was or were you not exactly sure? But like, did you know what you were getting yourself into? I guess the legacy that Power Rangers was. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I really realized how big it really was until until I sort of, maybe even a little bit after we, we finished filming. Um, watched, mm. watched bits and pieces for sure, um, but I really wanted it to, and maybe, maybe this was a mistake and, um, you know, but I, I really wanted it to sort of be my own personal take on the situation, um, and and so I'm 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 big on I'm big on inspiration, but I'm I think I'm a little bit wary not to sort of copy a, sort of a style or a, a formula or whatever. So um, so um, that was possibly part of it. Whether that helped or hindered, I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, but I but I very much I mean even even during filming I mean we we hadn't even we probably done the first week or something and there was just so much support coming in through social media and stuff and um, already you know after or, or whenever people started finding out about us um, so so yeah very quickly if you if you start you know if you film power rangers you find out how much support there is um <laughs> which absolutely i'm i'm just super you know super stoked for and um and to be a part of something that's been going for how many years now like uh since 1993 so yeah are we uh, you know did rangers impact your career as much as you thought it would in regards to other roles 
Or was it really kind of like, oh, cool, you did this, and then, you know, back to just whatever, auditioning? Yeah, I, I hear you, man. It's uh, you, 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 the expectation because of the work that we had for, what was it, like eight or nine months? Something like that. Yeah, eight yeah. months, three episodes every nine days. So we were working a lot. Honestly, yeah. The... <sighs> It's, I've, I've realized, I mean, of course, of course it's a privilege and of course you know yeah. that, um, but, but I think it's, it's sinking in even more so, um, uh, <laughs> at this time. Um, it's, it's, it's been, uh, rather a challenge as I'm, as I know it's been for the, the entire planet, um, yeah. or most countries. Yeah, I, I think I, I did expect uh more coming off the back of 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 power i did i did absolutely i mean i i think you you sort of get in a role of like yeah i'm i'm here now i've made it like this is my life i've arrived yeah i've I've got to a certain point yeah 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 i've gotten to a certain point and it's only like taking steps up from here you know like and um and it's this this industry has a way of really reminding you to be humble. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yes. So um so to be honest like I've I've booked a bit since Rangers. Um uh, super, you know, grateful to have been offered um a bit part in um in Beast Morphers and also yeah. um and also we came back. Um well our characters rather came back for um how many episodes was that even? We were in two episodes of Beast Morphers reprising the Rangers. Because you were a bad guy in Beast Morphers as well? Or were you I was. I was. I um <laughs> I tried to do sort of like a strange I think it was sort of like a Spanishy accenty kind of situation, but he was like a nice. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it was interesting. Um but uh but but it didn't necessarily have to be from anywhere, so it was okay. Um, I did a, um, a a role in a movie called The Blaze. It's based off a true story of a true, fire. True in story, right? yeah. And it um, from from what I understand about the um, the what happened, it changed the fire regulations um, mm. in in New Zealand, which is just like it was just so necessary after. Um, but it was it's a it's a really um, tragic story. But um, but mm. as as a lot of those kinds of stories. Um, go um positive things came out of it anyway so yeah that yeah so that that was that was amazing to to actually play somebody that existed like he, mm-hmm. he was a real person um and um and so that just for me anyway that brought a a huge responsibility i think and also that there are so many other people that could have gotten the role and mm-hmm. and that that probably absolutely deserved the role as well you know so um, we've got to just remembering to be grateful for all of the all of the jobs, right? Like the tiny, yeah. the ones that we see as perhaps a little, you know, quite a bit smaller. And really, it's to do with it's it's to do with the um, the money that goes into it. It, it. There's there's no there's no such thing. Even if you have one line, I'm I'm probably sort of going all over the place with. That's okay. <laughs> but um. Okay. Even if you have one line or like you're the lead role, it's a flipping challenge, man. It really is. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, but but yeah. So so after that, I um, I had some encouragement to, you know, uh, I think it was around the first or second lockdown that we had in New Zealand. I was encouraged to start a business, and so that's I've been focusing a lot on that, um, and not so much putting myself out. I've I've had I've had some auditions for for um for a film, a TV series, and, and, and different things. But um, I've been focusing on this business, which is um, acting coaching, which I'm, oh man, I've learned a lot through that as well. Business is not something that I <clears throat> personally enjoy being involved with. <laughs> you know, like the business side of it, I, I wanna be yeah. I wanna be acting, I wanna be- You like the artistic side of it. You wanna perform, but you don't wanna deal with the, you know, the numbers and the regulations and the tax codes and blah, 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 and whatever, yeah. So yep, I yep, do. yep. But it's gotta be done. What's the name of your class? How can people join it? Are you taking new students right now? Or is it like capped per semester or whatever that means or quarter? So uh, yeah, share. Thanks, man. People wanna learn from the Black Ranger. How can they? Thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate that. So, um, something called healthy artists coaching. The goal is to encourage artists to 
first be a healthy human being as as we all know there have been far too many even one person is too many far too many people that have, have gone through some really rough really rough times after gaining yeah. what we call success or what might look like success in the industry um but then they don't have the life skills the um they don't have the life skills to actually do anything more there was a quote um i believe it was jim carrey he said something along the lines uh i wish everyone could be famous so they could learn that it's not the answer to happiness or something like that so good and, but fame tends to magnify the type of person you already are i find so like let's say you were super generous before and you had ten dollars and you would give away half of it well, now you have millions of dollars, so you keep giving away half of it, maybe. Or if you were super selfish and you would never give away anything, now you have the ability to get away with a lot, you have a lot of money, you have a lot of ability to kind of take advantage of other people. And I think what you're doing is amazing, helping people, you know, mind, body, soul, before the fame, you know, a good head on their shoulders. Because like you said, how many actors do we know either personally or from the tabloids that end up in rehab when you're in the limelight and everything you do is judged under a microscope? You put one thing on Twitter 20 years ago and someone's like, oh my gosh, the star of blah, blah, blah said something. It's like, wow, we can't make mistakes. We're supposed to be perfect every day since when? Like everyone makes mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. Yeah. But yeah. if they're on camera, then I'm canceled for some reason. It's like, you make mistakes. Anyone watching this, makes mistakes like it's one thing if you make a mistake and you don't apologize for it but if you truly are heartfelt and you're like you know what what i said or did or whatever i'm growing from it like you're free to do whatever you want but whatever you do has consequences you're not free of the consequences i guess you may in your in your personal life you may um make a mistake say something that isn't uh isn't the kindest or or isn't even true um and yep. uh and you make a mistake that doesn't mean that you have to live with that mistake for the rest of your life no of life. you're not your mistakes you know how, how do people join this um if they want to yeah so yeah. so um so at the moment it's, it's uh currently through my instagram account um mm. there's a link there that you can um that you can email through I've just set up a professional well recently set up a professional email address so people don't think that i'm somebody dodgy just trying to take their money um so um but you can also email um uh contact at healthy artists healthy artists coaching.com um awesome. artists healthy art artists healthy artists, artists. artists. yeah <laughs> you need to help me with my american accent man <laughs> Dude, got it fine um fun segue so james he lived in the UK for a few years. Did I really? He's very keen. Really? Yeah, he told us this all the time when we were in New Zealand uh, filming. And uh, what was your stage name, James, when you were in the UK? Before we knew each other, what was your stage name? Okay, all right. So uh, my stage name was actually Brennan Davies. That's right. I know. That's right. See, coincidences, guys. I don't. I don't. I don't believe in them because, like, what are the chances of us being on Power Rangers together and the guy that's in the same season as me? His stage name was Brennan. Like, Brennan's not that common of a name to just choose randomly. I don't know. Part of my family is um, Welsh. And uh, mm. and so I looked up, I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it really isn't Welsh. Maybe it's from somewhere else. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um but whatever the case that's that's sort of the reason why i just googled it i googled welsh names i think it was years ago now but mm -hmm. yeah if you could go back in time and revisit dino charge would you change anything about your portrayal of chase either you know you you portrayed him throughout the show series or just like a specific episode uh, was there something you wish we could have done that we didn't sure sure i i mean <clears throat> to be honest i i i think I think it wouldn't, I would be lying to say that I wouldn't change anything. <laughs> um, to, dude, to be honest, like even, even in my, my personal life, I would have slept a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were, you were up a lot, man. We barely had any sleep as it was. I was, I, and I'm genuinely like, I'm, I'm a bit of a night owl and, and something that, uh, you know, I've, I, yeah, I naturally do, but it, it, it can change your, um, it can change your experience so much just by having the energy to to focus to to enjoy to you know appreciate that the moment uh so much more um i would have loved to not that this was up to us but i would have loved to have gotten the characters a little bit more gritty i don't know if you remember yeah. i don't know if you remember um 
when we first tried on different costumes and um and and the costume ladies uh the costume uh people were re- uh fantastic um mm. but like chase had an ear piercing or they were they were talking about an ear piercing and oh, the, really? yeah and the and I... the and the outfits were were a lot more gritty but but yeah. definitely not so Nickelodeon or you know that sort of vibe so so of course you know they they wanted to change things a bit but um I would have liked to have explored that a bit more because I find I don't know about you but um I I really find that costume costuming can really help build on a character it's not necessary but it really helps it's a layer of their world that you put on like whenever I put on the Energem or Tyler's bracelet you know those specific two items and of course the color red, I guess, but even more right. so, just those items made me feel like, okay, I'm stepping into Tyler's shoes, be, even before I put on Tyler's boots, whatever. Get what I mean? I get what you mean. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, wardrobe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wardrobe helps for sure. Um, it just separates you, especially if your character dresses in a way that you don't in your normal life. Um, yeah. You know, I don't wear red puffer vests that often. And now I wear it just because I have it and it gets cold and I have a puffer vest that's red. So, but I, I used to not, I mean, I would have changed things too with my experience now. Um, you know, I, I, I did my best to get sleep, but I'm the opposite side. I kind of wish I would have drank coffee. I didn't drink coffee when we filmed. And I was so tired all the time, even with sleep. Like on the weekends, Caitlin wanted to go hang out and stuff. And I was just too tired to go anywhere. And I was in this beautiful country for eight months and I just wanted to sleep and work out and film that was it and not that we yeah. didn't go places but looking back it's yes it's it's that sacrifice do i want to get the most out of this and even that means i'm sleep deprived a little bit which isn't healthy forever but short-term sleep deprivation with coffee or do i want to sleep so i feel okay but too tired to still do it? you know what i mean yep so yep i hear you, there's this, I hear you. it's both sides and i actually funnily enough speaking of coffee um which is kind of more on the the health side of things for me um it's interesting how you can actually get to a point where you abuse that kind of thing like you rely on it i've actually i i've I've recently found i've I've stopped drinking coffee and um and uh and i've found that i I am for me personally i'm actually enjoying life a heck of a lot more i think because yeah because i've um i've i think i've perhaps reset something in my body so it's not desperately needing that kind of extra sort of false boost of energy but i totally appreciate when when you're actually when you're already um being really responsible with your with your sleep with your time and all of that and you're working at quite a demanding job um like Mm -hmm. we were that uh, an extra boost every once in a while could be really, really helpful. <laughs> so well done for yeah. getting, you know, for, for working on Power Rangers and not drinking any coffee. That's impressive. Yeah, probably the only ranger in history if we took, took a poll to have had no coffee the whole time. I don't know if there's too many more Power Ranger-esque questions, but I did want to ask this one. Go on. um, did you, A, do you own your lightning figure? And B, do you think it looks like you? Or like, do, do you wish they chose a different model because by the way guys when they make the lightning figures they didn't scan our heads they based it off of a picture of us so it's not like we went in some 3d model scanning room uh but it is an actual duplication of our heads i guess on some level from a picture but do you like your lightning figure do you have one do you wish it was different what do you think yeah well um i mean yeah man like uh, well um i haven't got one yet again it's just it's it's a it's a a a privilege and it's strange (laughs) to 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 see um you know something that looks kind of like you a little strange to have uh yourself right look at that look at that but i also have (gasps) chains that's awesome so i hang out we hang out even when we don't hang yes. out. So I haven't no. taken you out of your box though. Cause actually, whenever you come back to the States, I wanted to have an unboxing video where you unbox oh, yourself. That would be so cool. You can have this one after you unbox it. Oh, thanks man, <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I haven't actually seen it in person. Like, in person? do they not have them in New Zealand or you just didn't get one? I don't know if they, New Zealand, <laughs> you know, Power Rangers does air here. Um, I mean, it's on, it was on Netflix. I'm not sure if it is mm. currently. Netflix is now gonna be the new home of Power Rangers, like including the new movie. 
and including the second season of Dino Fury that it's not coming out on Nickelodeon, that it's going straight to Netflix. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know. That's, I don't know. Um, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty big, eh? That's... Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they make it, you know, more, more, well, I guess the other question, like you mentioned, you wish they made Chase a little more gritty. Do you want that for the show in general, or do you think it should stay a Y7, you know, very kid show? Um, or do you think they should walk the line more like the Marvel movies where there's kid elements, obviously, like you take your kid to Spider-Man, they're not scarred for life, hopefully, but it's definitely a movie that adults want to watch. Like, I want to see the new Spider-Man movie too. Sure, for sure. I I would love to see a bit of a, a refresh for, for Power Rangers um, in terms of in terms of making it you know even just a tad more gritty I think that would be really really cool I find it weird that honestly it's almost like we don't think our children in America can be exposed to it despite the fact that so many other games and shows that kids watch are more violent than Power Rangers and even the Japanese version like at least of Kyo Ruger, the Super Sentai of ours they would bleed and people could die and like ours is like if we got hurt, we got dirty. You remember, like they put dirt on us in our civilian yeah. forms. Like that means I'm beat up because I held my shoulder and there's dirt on my shirt. And I'm like, but I don't bleed. Like because no, you're I, a Power Ranger, you don't. Yeah, Power Rangers mean, don't bleed, uh, <laughs> but they do. They should. I don't know. I just that part didn't make sense to me. Yeah, I I, I hear you, man. And and I, I I do I do think that because because the age group goes down to, I don't know, probably like, I don't know, three-year-olds maybe, three, four, that um, they want to keep it super what we would call PG. Oh, not even PG. Um, what is it? G. General audience or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, I say Power Rangers is PG, though. There is parental guidance because monsters get extinct, you know? So like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, what does this Mommy, extinct what does this mean? mean? <laughs> does it extinct mean? Yeah. Uh, the monster yeah. dies. Uh, <laughs> because of the way Power Rangers is sort of set up, it's it to me, it seems like... Absolutely, there's loads, lo loads of fighting in it, but it's not focused on the fight. You know, it's not, it's not focused on the, on the violence, say, um, or it shouldn't be. Um, but, but of course, you know, a, a group of teens or however old are, um, you know, given these powers to protect the earth. So mm -hmm. sometimes they've just got to do that. Um, or maybe they made, like, if they made a kid version, like, because I know, like, DC Comics and Marvel. They'll make like the the MCU universe, which is violent sometimes. You know, Thanos killed half of the universe um, with this snap. But then they have cartoon shows that are less violent, and then some cartoons that are more adult. So like, they're not afraid to play the same character in multiple circumstances with like the multiverse. So I feel like Power Rangers could do the same thing. Like they've established the shattered grid. You know, like Dino Charge exists in a different u dimension. But what? Is there only one dino charge though? Or are there multiple dimensions of dino charge? Like a more violent one, yes. a less violent one? Or is it just, we're the only dino charge in the multiverse, you know what I mean? But I understand that they, you know, want to keep it super kid friendly. So. Yep. If you were offered to come back for a third season of Power Rangers, would you reprise your role as Chase? Whether it's dino charge, hyper charge, I don't know, a third dino charge or just another season? A, a whole season? Whole season. Um, mm -hmm. Would you do it? Would you be there? Would you be there? This isn't about me, James. This is oh, about dude. <laughs> uh, this if you're there, I'll do. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say because it's. <sighs> yes, I absolutely would. I absolutely mm -hmm. would. Um, and because because the people that we work with are so awesome, and you know, knowing that I'll be working with you. Um, I, th I think it would just be next level. It would be pretty epic. Yeah, with our with our new knowledge, like, again, forever working on our craft. So, like, hopefully we could bring something new to the table um, if they ever asked us back. But, yeah, I I'd be right there with you. I I'd suit up again. Bring on, bring on the red spandex. Let's go. With uh, some coffee this time. <laughs> with coffee. Coffee power. Ready. What, what is your dream role? Like, action role love story sitcom i don't know what if you could choose one like would it be a movie or a tv show or like what, what would you do have you even thought about it 
Would it be a musical? Oh, what would musical. Yeah. yeah, not anything specific that's been made already to, to you know for a reboot or anything, but but genres for sure. So anything yeah. that's not a horror film. <laughs> Um, and I'm not a huge fan of psychological thr- thrillers either, unless you know they've got some kind of really good message behind them. You know, sure. Then, uh, then I'm not a huge fan of that sort of stuff. My mm. favorite genre, okay, one of my all-time favorite genres is um, our adventure films. Uh, just honestly, like they're inspiring, they're exciting. You know, there's yep. yeah. And they, they do things in the, in the movies that typically can't happen in real life. Like, I like adventure fantasy type things. Like, Lord of the Rings, Narnia, you know, sci-fi-ish kind of... Not that I'm against, like, the Bourne Identity. I love those kind of movies, too, where it's realistic, but not, you know? But uh, I, I like when there's an element of superpowers or something. You know, Marvel or DC Comics or Power Rangers. Gotcha. But on a gotcha. more mature level i guess what did you think of the mummy oh the uh, with brandon fraser like the first yeah, mummy? Yeah. yeah from yeah. what i remember i liked it because that was an adventure like again there was that mythical element but it was comedic so it was like you know but scary but it, it reminded me of indiana jones yeah really yeah so good so that that's the sort of stuff that i'm like super super into Same. things like that um i love the mummy um one and two especially um, yeah, I'm, I'm really into um, possibly one of the things that I would have done, uh, which perhaps would have been just as much of a challenge <laughs> uh, of an in- industry. But um, if I hadn't gotten into the arts, I may have I may have gotten into um, uh, archaeology. Or paleontology. Oh, oh, nice, nice. I love, I love the idea of just like adventuring to another country, like checking yeah. out like things from ancient Egypt, like digging up bones, like all of that sort of stuff. Just mm. really is um, history and stuff. It just, it, it, it's exciting. It's exciting. So I yeah. love. So in the multiverse, there's a James Davies out there that's a paleontologist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah, so I've got, I've got pictures on my wall of um, Zorro. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. dude, so good. And I've got, um, so I've got the mummy. I've got Van Helsing. There you go. I yeah. also, um, Van Helsing, and um, I've also got Scorpion, uh, the Scorpion King, is it? Scorpion. Okay. Yeah. Scorpion King. Yeah, I, I worked with um, a guy recently on a stunt job who was in the Scorpion King doing stunts. So wow. hearing some of the stories that's, was pretty cool. That's so awesome. That's, Final question. What advice do you have for anyone who wants to step into the arts? Okay, so so what I do in between jobs um, and mm. what I, what I want to be doing um, more and more of, um, because of my personal challenges in life, both mental and physical challenges that I've had in the past, I've... Mm. I've, I've and again, this this goes on to the why I why I'm um, why I've created this healthy artist coaching thing as it is now. Um, that that what I'm what I'm doing in between is just working on my working on my mental and physical health. I don't feel great if I'm not um, uh, if if I'm not fit. If I'm not exercising my lungs. If I'm not exercising my brain. Like. I, I, I don't feel like I'm, um, I'm in um, a very good uh, state, to be honest. You being so fit, I'm sure helps you to continue to feel uh, positive. Positive. Sure. Yeah, there's a hormone balance that comes with fitness. And fitness isn't just about muscles. It affects your mind and your emotional well-being, which is why when people... It's not about being a gym rat. It's taking care of myself physically makes me feel better emotionally mentally for sure so so that's that's what i've sort of re uh discovered recently is that i i need that and and to remind yourself that and sometimes I've, we've got beautiful beaches um near my house which i'm so grateful to be mm-hmm. near beaches um so i run um i i run along um, a particular beach most of the time um and and sometimes i remind myself if i don't do this because you've got to, you, sometimes you need something to get you get you out the door, right? Rather than yeah. just like, oh, I just feel like it. You can't rely on your feelings because, uh, you know, otherwise. Feelings are real, but they're not always true, I guess, is a way to think. Yes. Well, yeah, but like, you know, you could, you could not feel like it for your whole life. 
Um, yeah. But that's not necessarily the healthiest option, right? To, to motivate myself, to remind myself, I, I, I do sort of think about it as I'm running. I, I think, you know, this is to keep you mentally healthy. This is to, to make sure that I am feeling ha- healthy and happy, really. So, so that's, that's one of the things that I've been doing a lot is um, just making sure that I feel good physically to, to dive more into, into who I am. And because, yeah. because I want to, when I, when I do get whatever other roles, I want to feel super, super solid, even more solid than I do now, you know, um, because if I don't feel solid, what am I really passing on? What am I really yeah. offering to other people apart from just doing hopefully a job to the best of my ability? Um, but I can't, I, I, we can't really do that. I think we can't really do the job to the best of our ability if we're not that healthy in ourselves i think mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. still working on it still learning about it but it's yeah. it, that's that's what i that's that's really what i'm focusing on at the moment is mental and physical health so so that's what i would say is just focus on the enjoyment of uh of the 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 craft um <clears throat> and 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 discover what you know just just ask yourself questions along the way you know as as i believe we should be doing on a regular basis in life as well um yeah but um but but yeah just just discover what you love about it and and be around other people that love it also um for the right reasons um and and not people that just want to be famous on social media from what i've seen of of, of tiktok and, and and some things on on instagram and whatnot it's just people people just want to be seen and and if that's if that's your goal is to be seen well then I suggest you question what, where you find your value in yourself. Yeah, yes. where is your identity? You know, that's as we mentioned earlier. Like, is your identity only when you're on a working show? Because you're going to be, if you're like 99.9 percent of people, you will be offsets way more than your onsets. So if yeah. you're only happy when you're onsets, you're going to have a very sad life. So find value in other things: family, God, friends you know, doing philanthropy, things that help, when you help other people, you become happier. Like you and I are chatting now, this is inspiring me, you know, mm-hmm. just, you know, seeing the things that, that, that you get up to and, and whatnot, that's inspiring to me. So don't just look for people that are, you know, not as good as you, you know, look, look for people. Actually, I suggest that you look for people that are better than you. <laughs> A lot of the time. James is awesome. better than me. At so many things. Oh, he, dude. dude, he tried to teach me to dance and it's it's so hard. I don't understand. <laughs> so James, uh, is there anything you'd like to say to the Power Rangers community, fandom? You know, again, it's really humbling that people from all over the world that you don't know um, mm. have have decided to uh, not only connect with your, your social media accounts, not only, you know, watch uh, the work that you've been involved with, um, but that send you messages of, of encouragement, of, you know, all that sort of stuff. So so thank you, everybody, very, very much for, for all the support that you have offered. Um, uh, so far and uh, and I hope that um, that you can uh, enjoy all the work that I'm involved with in the future um, yeah. I, I really wish you all the best with uh, staying healthy and happy and um, and anybody that is going through a rough time at the moment uh, just know that uh, it's not a death sentence but it's it's mm-hmm. encouragement to grow so look for ways that you can grow seek seek those opportunities and um and keep having hope even if it's just a little bit